G'day, it's Oscar and Nick here from Drones for Hire. So we're getting to the end of our day for our, from our T100 flying, and we thought we might do a comparison for flight time uh, with a T50, which I'm going to be flying, and a T100, which Nick's going to be flying. So we got the tanks both filled to 30.9. I'm on yep. 31. No, no, 30.9 there. It's jumping between the two. We're just going to put them up. We're going to take them out to a safe distance and we're going to just sit, let them sit to hover. Two, one. All right, so that's it. How, mu how much do you have left? 18. Yeah, I'm down to 17. We don't have a timer on us now, so we're not sure what the actual difference was, but um, significantly longer with the T100. I think what we'll do now, because that was a comparison with, with two weights of 30, we're going to fill them both up to their max legal takeoff um, weight and run the same test and see what differences we get. Hey guys, we're going to do the second flight time test. Um, T100, T50, and this time we're filling to the max legal uh, weights, uh, MTO, max takeoff weights. So that's 75 on the T100. What do you got? You got 74.9 going, a little bit cheating there, but I got 39.9, so <laughs> it's even. Okay, ready? ready. Go. There we have it. It was a pretty close test, wasn't it? That was it? pretty close, yeah. I thought I thought the T50 was going to stay up a lot longer at the start. Yeah. But by the time they actually hit the ground, it wasn't much in it. What have you got left? 13%. Yeah, I'm on 15. Just we have to remember as well, that's a brand new battery, isn't it? The T100. Yeah, brand new aircraft, brand new battery. Those batteries have, you know, been going for, what, a year, year and yeah. a half now. So... Yeah, not perfectly shouldn't, fair. Shouldn't affect it too much, but it'll have some effect yeah. on the battery. I think, I don't know how much you can take from that test, really. It was just yeah. bit, basically a bit of fun, but um, perhaps something that we want to look at as time goes on is, you know, maybe if you're doing that spot spraying stuff where you're, you're not filling up as much, mm. well, actually, the T100 is getting more flight time at those lower literage, so you, you're going to get more done in those spot spraying type applications, which we, we weren't really sure on that, but it's starting to look a bit mm. like between the LiDAR giving better terrain and obstacle detection and the fact that you get a bit more flight time at those low literage, yep. the, the hundreds actually looking quite good in that situation. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense, I suppose. The, um, so 30, that first test was uh, 30 in both, wasn't it? 30 litres in both. So that's yeah. about 50% in that and about 70, 
95% full in that, isn't it? Yeah. And that's a pretty typical spot spraying literage too, I would say. Like you might be somewhere between 20 and 30 often, mm. um, sometimes lower, but yeah, I think that's a pretty interesting comparison. The other point, the other obvious point is um, that's 40 litres and that's 75 litres. That's nearly double, T100 is nearly double the carrying capacity. Yeah. Um, and so your ability to get hectares done is is increased dramatically, and it should be putting things out, putting it out quicker with the extra speed and the extra swath. Mm. So you're going to be Low dropping rates. that that rate quicker, which will bring your flight time up. So it'd be interesting to get some proper comparisons as time goes on. Mm. I think that's about it. We're going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.